God wants your marriage to work. God wants you and your wife to work together. God has uh, his plan for you. Now, even if it's your wife that cheated on you and walked away with someone and you desire her to come back, you will still get the same result. Now, at some point, you may feel very frustrated. Maybe you you are very angry that your wife cheated on you and you don't want her back. Most times, most likely you will not be watching this video. This video will not catch your attention. What will catch your attention is how to divorce my wife, how to break away from her completely and how to get remarried or how to move on when my wife walks off. That's what will catch your attention because you don't want her back. But because you're watching this, I know you want her back. And so I'm speaking directly to you that when you want your wife back, don't start to rush into doing things that you want to do. Rather, ask the Lord to give you wisdom. Now, if you've gotten the wisdom, you, 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 you're in the state of mind where you're not rushing to do stuff and you're disconnecting yourself from begging, from trying to control her, you're creating something very beautiful. This is how you trigger your wife to begin to want you back. Yes, because when you're not pursuing her, or rather you're pursuing God, when you're not uh, falling into the, the, the trap of being controlled by her, but you're falling into the trap of being controlled by one who loves her, it's not a trap, actually. You are learning to, to follow the instruction of the one who loves her. You're going to begin to trigger the spiritual powers that God has put in you to draw her back to you. The moment you, you surrender back to God, there's a spiritual dimension. She's spirit. The Lord is spirit. You are spirit in the spirit realm because you have genuinely, consciously surrender to the Father, God. He knows your real heart triggers drawing her back to you. Hallelujah. I hope you get that. If you don't get that, every other thing that I'm going to say to you, you will understand it, you will like it, but you will not get the result that you're looking for. It has to start with surrendering to the Holy Spirit. It has to start with an understanding that I have a father who is the father and the owner of my wife. And this father is the owner of me as well. He has a plan. And I've been messing up was written his plan all these years but today i recognize my foolishness and i surrender to him and i want to follow his instruction the moment you're in that space a lot of things trigger in the spirit you just find that she begins to desire you back not suddenly or you may not see it immediately but she wherever she is begins to sense that something is wrong also i don't know why but i am missing my husband and once that process is there, you can then tap into the skills that I'm going to share with you to bring her back. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So what did we ask for? We asked for wisdom to know what to do. We asked for wisdom to do what you know with, with reference to restoring your wife to you. And because you've submitted to the Father, to God, the Creator, your Creator, to the Holy Spirit who is in you, through Jesus Christ who has saved you from your sins, you have started a journey. You got to start here by saying, I believe that you have released wisdom to me. Right from the moment you pray. Now, if you don't believe that, stay in the place of prayer until you believe it, until it becomes real to you that, yes, I'm working with God and he is releasing instruction to me. Believe that you receive. Of course, it also means that you believe that you receive your wife back because you believe that he will give you the instruction. You believe that he will give you the grace and wisdom to obey. You believe that he will strengthen you to be patient. You also believe that his, your wife will be restored to you. Not only will she be restored to you, she'll be happy to be with you because you are following the Father. She will, she will be in love with you just like you are in love with her. As you are becoming a man after God's heart, she will become a woman after God's heart. And what will she do? She'll be attracted to God's design for her life. 
all of this, you have to start believing them. If you can take care of this, you will be amazed at the kind of result that you get and the record time that you get it. This is so crucial that a lot of people don't do it because it is the same weakness that made them to destroy their marriage in the first place. The moment we take a wife that God gave us, a daughter of God, and start treating them with carelessness, we didn't ask for wisdom to take care of them, we didn't ask for wisdom to do what is right with them and by them the way God wants, we'll mess it up. And that's why the marriage is where it is. And so when you want to fix it, you got to fix the real problem first. And what's the real problem? You didn't take instruction from the owner. Of course, you're not taking instruction from the owner of your life too. So you got to change all of that. Now, let's get to why she left you in the first place. The reason why your wife left you is because she got convinced in her heart that staying with you is less profitable, less advantageous to her than leaving you. That's all. It's as simple as that. It's not about, it's not something profound. She left because she figured that leaving you is better off than staying with you. Right? So if you want to get her back, what are you going to do? You make her see that staying with you is way better than being away from you. Simple as that. Don't get emotional about this. Don't get spiritual about this. Just take it as simple as it is. Then you just get into the process of learning from the Holy Spirit how to make her see that being with you is way better. And so what do you do then practically to get your wife back is once she leaves, you don't rush to get her back. You keep communication going as much as you can so that she can see the transformation. Now I've taught several, severally how to connect with God, how to um, love, love. I've taught on the definition of real love and, and I've shared on how we all got to the place where we're so selfish and self-centered. Unless you learn how to receive from God by surrendering to him, by saying, you know what, Lord, I need help. And then say to the Lord that, yes, I trust you to help me. And then releasing all your pride of trying to look good, you cannot receive. The same with people. The people in your life are the people that God are going to use to change you so that your wife can come back. So while you, you're beginning to declare that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to receive wisdom from God to know exactly what to do, then watch around for the people whom God will send to you. This video may be one of them. And I may be the one that God is sending to you to help you. Then you take advantage of all of this help. You can reach out to me to have a one-on-one -on -one call on the chat, 15 minutes. You can... Um, join my program, my, my uh, coaching program, which is a group call, or you can join my one-on-one -on -one private call, uh, private coaching. There are many ways that I can help you. There are many ways that others can help you. You begin to look around to receive help. If you want your wife back, you need to be ready to receive help from God. The people around you, the situations around you, the challenges around you will make you into that man that's going to bring her back. I want to encourage you, reach out, get help. I have so many tools to help you. Join the Mega Impact Academy and begin to learn. Start right away to download my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet. Addisobanjo.com slash friends. There's a link to it in my, de uh, my description. And of course, subscribe to the channel so that you can get more. Like the video, share it with anyone that you think will benefit from it. The Lord God who loves you has sent me your way to be a blessing to you. I hope that this has blessed you. Continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. The Lord bless you. Bye for now.